We're going to talk today about setting up artwork. Um, in this case, we're going to be setting up artwork for a graduation sign so that you can quickly take just a base and work from it and convert it to different schools, different names, and seamlessly be able to produce a lot of different signs without a lot of work for each individual sign. So you may have seen a recent video I did where I, I printed out this sign. We actually created this uh, for uh, one of the, the girls that works here with us. It's uh, her cousin is graduating uh, this year from uh, Plant High School here in Tampa. So I want to show you how we constructed this and we're, so we're going to deconstruct it and how we can quickly set this up so that I could change the name of this school, change the school colors, change the student's name, uh, even change the school year uh, without really having to do a lot of work. So we'll start out by just getting rid of everything except for the one thing we're going to keep is the actual piece of clip art here we started with. So we start with this piece of clip art here. I'm working on a sign blank here that's a 24 by 18 um, and I'm doing it in the, con the Compress Designer software. You could very easily do this in Corel Draw or Illustrator. They have very much so the same tools. So we're going to start out with the the actual sign blank with our piece of clip art here and I want to go ahead and I want to set up some of the uh, the color scheme that I'd set up inside of this. Alright, so we're going to start up here and we're just going to drag a box and in this case it's already the color that we wanted it to be alright so in that and I'm gonna take that box and I'm gonna make it let's say that top box will make 2.5 inches tall I'm gonna orient it keep it oriented to the top I'll make it 2.5 inches came pretty close in the first place and then at the bottom if you remember I had a thinner stripe down here so I can either drag a box or in this case I can just duplicate that box I can copy that or I can duplicate it and then slide that one down here. All right, and I want to orient this one to the bottom. And I think I, I would say that I think I, the one I did before was about 1.75 inches. I'm just going to ch change the height, and I'm going to keep it anchored to the bottom. All right. So now we've got our two stripes. And then, if you remember correctly, there was a box that went across here. So we're just going to drag that box right here. And in the case of the one we did, I believe it was black, if I'm not mistaken. Fill that with black. All right. And that was actually behind this stripe right here. So I'm going to arrange this to the back. Okay. If I am not mistaken, probably came to about right there. That's probably not a bad position. But I do want to take this. And I, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to note edit this design. All right, by changing it into I'm going to convert this to a polygon so I can edit it and I'm just going to bring this one side down a bit probably right to about there all right all right so now we have our stripe uh, we're going to go ahead and bring in our photograph I'm just going to import the photograph and this is going to be something that you're going to do you know, on a regular basis, you're going to just bring in their photos, drop it in here. And I want it to be behind everything, so I'm going to arrange that to the back. All right. And then I can play around with the sizing and whatnot. I want to make sure that it is oriented to the exact edge of the blank, so that's at zero, zero. I'm going to zero along the edge here. And actually, that looks pretty good. Um, I might make the the image a little bit. I may want to bring it down a little, but you, you'll do this part you'll actually play with because you're going to have different sizes and different ratios in the graphic, but I'll probably take that up to about eight and a half inches wide. I want to make sure that I have that locked so that when I do change that to 8.5, it sizes proportionally. All right and we can adjust it to where we want it position wise. I've got it selected, bring it down a little bit. That looks perfect. All right, the next thing we want to start dealing with is the text that we're going to put in here. So I want to go ahead and grab my text tool, place it on here, 
first thing I want to do, because this is for the top, this is where the high school name is going to go, I want to make that center justified because remember as we increase the name of the school we want it to go out to the left and out to the right instead of bouncing to one side or another so it stays oriented to the sign and for the top lettering let's use about a one and a quarter inch I think that's about right because I think we made that a two and a quarter inch or two and a half inch so let's make that about one and a quarter so it's about um, half the height of that box and I want to make that text white all right and in this case, we're just going to set up our generic template. So I'm going to call this your high school. Perfect. All right, we have that set up. That's center justified. Now what I want to do is I'm actually going to take this item and I'm going to orient it to the last object I selected, to the center, and to the center. All right. So now this text is centered on this box, which is centered on the blank of the sign. And when I go in and edit this, that is going to anchor. You can see here if I select this and I change this to my high school, all right, it stays center oriented. Okay. So that's set up so that when I go to edit it, it is going to be the same each time so far as the orientation. All right. One thing I'm going to do now before I go any further, I'm going to take that color right there and that color right there. That, those two items, the top stripe and the lower stripe, I'm going to group those together. Reason I do that is those are associated with the school colors in case you haven't figured it out. Their colors are basically this, this uh, brownish pewter type color and black. So now let's say if the school's color was instead red and black, boom, I can change it and they both change right there. All right, we'll go back to the one we've been using. All right, the next thing to do, and it really, there isn't an order to this, let's just go ahead and while we're here, let's go ahead and put that 2020 right there. So I'm, again, I'm going to grab my text tool, put it right here, and I'm pretty certain that the text that I had there was about the same size, so we're going to put 2020, and again, I'm going to change that text to white. All right, change that text to a white color here. All right, lay it into there. That looks fairly close. We may need to size it down a little bit. But now I want it to fit the curve of that hat. So I'm going to use my fit text to arc tools. All right, and actually this came out pretty good the way it was. I can play with it a little bit in positioning. Um, you can actually increase the angle, decrease the angle. And again, this is going to be different on all your, all your softwares. That doesn't look too bad there. So I'm going to save that. I actually think I want to size that down a little bit. There we are. And then I'm going to orient these two items together, just centered on that line. All right. And then I want to take, because it looks like we popped down a little bit too much. Oops. Grab my text, bring it up a little bit, and there we go. All right. Now, that way that is editable if I want to, so for next year when I go to, to do this, I can literally go into here, change that to 2021, boom, and it's going to be edited. I don't want to add the space to it, but there you go. You get the idea. Take that back to 2020. All right, now we want to go ahead and put in the word congratulations. Actually, up here we say class of, if I'm not mistaken. Let's put in... The word class of. And I don't think I really want that font. And we're going to make that black. I don't think I really want that font. I want a, a little bit fancier font. So we're going to grab that. And I'm going to use a script font here. I think we use script bold in the original. So there's a script bold that I used. All right, which looks fine. And that's one and a quarter inch, which is the same size as this font up here, by the way. I'm going to take that, and now I'm going to just want to rotate that to an angle that kind of lines up right there. Lines up nicely with the hat. If that seems a little big. I'm going to just size it down a bit. There we are. Now we've got that set up so that it, that, that part and the clip art here will not change. You may change the school year. You're going to name, change the school name. 
All right, next thing to do is we're going to put down here the congratulations and the individual's name. While we're uh, still using script bold, I'm going to go ahead and do this in white, and I'm going to put congratulations. And the difference on this is, oh, you don't want it to be too caps, all right? The difference on this is, so we want this to be right justified, so I want to change that to right justification. That means that it justifies off of here. I'm going to take it and place it where I want it to be over here. All right, that looks about right. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put her name right here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to choose the original font that we used up top, which was Cable H. I'm going to make it, in this case, let's name, name text. Probably it's going to be a little bit bigger. We'll put it at two inches. You may have to adjust this part because of the fact that some names be a, may be extra long, so you may need to size that down a little bit. And we're going to write justify that one, which I've done there. And again, we're going to do it in white. And then I'm going to put in first, last name. There we go. You have to spell it right. There you are. So we have that positioned about where we want it optically. And then I'm going to orient it to the right, like this is over here. Which would be right here, this tool. All right. And we're done. We now have a template we can save that's editable. We have a photograph. We can just drop in a replacement photograph. We have editable text for the name of the school and the individual's name. We can edit the school year even. All right. The colors are tied together where the school colors would be. If their school colors were red and yellow, whoo, that would be bright, but you can see very quickly we can change it or we can take it back to where we had it before, which was this right here. So there you have it. We've created a template that we can now use to generate a ton of different signs and have them pretty quickly customized to a different school's colors, different individual in the name of the school.